Hi everyone, my name is Mary Beth Hobson and I'm a naturalist with Five Rivers Metro Parks and today I'm going to take you on an adventure to explore what's under a rotten log. You might be thinking to yourself, why would I want to see what's under a log? But with spring coming and everything blooming, all the bugs and all the little creepy crawlies that are really cool to look at are just now waking up and really just starting to get super busy and exciting to watch. So today we're gonna to go and explore at the Germantown Metro Parks main park here on Conservancy Street in Germantown. If you look here, I have found the perfect log. It kind of already has some little bits and pieces that have been eaten. And you can see that we've got holes and we've got pieces falling off and rotten wood and so there should be a lot of fun things for us to look at under here but first let's kind of look at the top of this can you see all these bits and pieces let's see you rip a little bit out look look at all those holes and that dust that means we should have lots of fun finding what's underneath here now because we're in these animals and and these insects home we don't really want to disturb them too much so i'm just going to roll the log away from their home and when i'm done i'm going to make sure that i put it back oh look over here that's a pill bug if you look at it i think let's see i don't know but look at all this stuff in here you've got fungus and you have little spider webs, all these neat things. In fact, if we look under here, we might even find oh, look at that nice damp earth. And look at these, you got some fungus here. So I'm just using my hands because dirt, dirt's good for us. As long as we don't eat too much of it. But it is good for us to be outside and in the air as long as we are being careful and social distancing. We don't really want to be inside all the time. So I can look and see that we do have some animal activity under here. I just can't find anybody. But the... the the log is nice and spongy, so that tells me that there's something eating it. It's kind of neat just to look through and see what we can find. I don't know. There isn't a whole lot under here. I was hoping to find more. Well, we didn't find a whole lot underneath there. We found some bug holes and some eaten parts, but maybe they're just not awake yet. It's still pretty cool, but I think I'm gonna find another log and see if we can't find something else to look at. I followed a deer path into the woods to see if I could find a log there, and look, I found something really cool. I found some really neat hoof prints that we can follow. See them? These are from a deer. There's some over here, here. Looks like maybe one of them was bigger than the other. This one was going a different direction. And they just followed it all the way along. I found another log for us to look at. It's a little bit thinner, but a lot longer than what we did last time. So I'm kind of hopeful that we'll find something. As you can see, it is quite a bit longer. And just like the other one, this is somebody's home. So we're gonna be very careful when we roll it over and then we'll be sure to put it back the way we found it. Crouching here, I can smell the wild onions. Oh look, there it is. What's this guy? A little pill bug. I'm sure they have a real name and I will have to look it up, but this guy just went in my sleep. <laughs> he dropped out 
And as long as we're careful, we really don't need to worry about the bugs biting us or anything. So I wasn't too scared. If you look here, I'm trying to, there it is. Found a worm sitting in there. I'm gonna leave it in there because I don't want to pull it apart or out of its home. But look how pretty it is. It's nice and kind of a pinkish purple red. I think they're cool. They're a lot of fun to play with too. So I'm not finding a whole lot underneath here, but we can see that some of the bugs are starting to wake up. And now I'm going to carefully, so I don't want to crush the worm, I'm going to carefully roll the log back. And we'll give it back its home. This was really fun. Not only did we get to follow a deer path and get to see what the deer see, very rarely do we get to see what they get to see. We also found some bugs and a worm in their home and we were respectful and turned it back. Thank you for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you safely in our parks and having a good time. Have a really great day. Bye.